Do you know some English but still have trouble expressing yourself in social situations? If yes, then this is the right podcast for you to improve your daily English conversation skills. This podcast presents a lot of useful phrases and sentences you would never think of unless you come across them. It contains plenty of common corrections used by native English speakers in everyday life. It covers topics such as meeting new people and making small talk, dating and visiting friends, eating out, emergencies, situations and doctor's appointments, car and flat rental, staying in hotels and travelling by air, shopping and much more. As always, I'll be playing the characters. All you have to do now is to sit back and enjoy your listening. Welcome to Look and Listen English Lessons podcast. This episode is broken down into seven parts and it's all about how to book a flight, how to cancel it, how to check in your luggage and pass security. You will learn new phrases, idioms and slang to improve your British English skills. Whether you're an aspiring globetrotter or simply want to enhance your language proficiency, this episode full of characters is tailor-made for you. But before we start, please like and leave a comment and share it in your playlist so you can listen to it again. Okay, I'm excited. Let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome on board to 737 Flight and Calling. This is your Captain Sharon Faye speaking. Our flight time today will be 12 hours and our estimated time of arrival in New York will be 3.30 a.m. The weather on our route is good. The temperature at our destination is now 2 degrees Celsius with some rain. We wish you a pleasant flight and we hope to see you again soon. On behalf of all our crew, thank you for choosing our Look and Listen English Airlines as your airline today, this weekend. This is Tower Control 737. Please hold off for your approval. There is a slight delay. This is 737. Holding on. Thank you. We'll be taking off as soon as possible. Meanwhile, we invite you to take this opportunity to put on your headphones, relax and enjoy the service. Thank you. ladies and gentlemen let's start with basic vocabulary in British English a ticket is called a booking so to book a flight you need to find a booking now pay attention as we introduce you to some classic British phrases when you're ready to fly you say I fancy a trip abroad once you've decided on destination it's time to find the perfect flight in British English you call it scoring airlines for cracking deals now let's learn some common British expressions you might encounter during the booking process. If you hear it cost an arm and a leg, it means the flight is expensive. Uh, excuse me, Captain. Uh, um, oh, yes, sit R3-4. Go ahead. Um, so I need to chop off my arm and leg to afford it. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just an idiom. You don't need to sacrifice any body parts. Now, after you've found the perfect flight, it's time to make a payment. In British English, we say, I need to cough up some dosh. I need to cough up some dosh when we're paying for something. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready for our departure. Please fasten your seatbelts. We are working hard to arrive at our destination at a time as close to schedule as possible. Don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more amusing podcasts and videos. Sarah, have you ever booked a flight using British English? No, I haven't. Can you show me how? Absolutely. Let's start. First, you need to know the essential phrases when asking about flight availability. You can say, can you tell me if there are any flights to, let's say, UK? Okay, got it. 
And what if I want to book a round uh, trip ticket? Oh, that's great question. To book a round trip ticket, you'd say, I'd like to book a return ticket, please. So if I want a ticket for a specific date, how do I ask for it? Excellent point. To request a ticket for a specific date, say, I'd like to book a flight to etc. Okay, and what about the seating preferences? Uh, how can I spe spe uh, specify that? Good one. If you have a seating preference, you can say, I'd like to reserve a seat by the window, please. And uh, what should I ask if I want an um, aisle seat? Well done, Sarah. If you prefer an aisle seat, simply say, can I have an aisle seat, please? Lastly, when confirming your flight details, you can ask, can you please confirm the departure time for my flight? Oh, that sounds straightforward enough. Thanks for these helpful phrases, Sharon. Uh, Sharon. Um, thank you, thank you. You're welcome, Sarah. <laughs> Remember, practice makes perfect. So take some time to practice using these phrases. Hi there, listeners. An aisle is a long, narrow space between rows of seats in an aircraft or cinema. But now, let's continue and listen to the characters trying to book a flight to Austin. Hello? Hi, Judy. How are you? This is Natalie Smith speaking. Oh, hi, Mrs. Smith. How can I help you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I have a question. What flights are there on the 19th of March to Oslo? Okay, Oslo. Um, hold on. Let me check um, on March 19th. Um, there are two flights. Uh, one is at 7.30 a.m. and the other one is at 4 p.m. What do you prefer? Um, uh, are, are there any direct flights? No, I'm afraid not. You have to transfer to... Wait a uh, Copenhagen or Stockholm. Oh, I see. Uh, very well, Judy. I'll take the 7.30 flight. Thank you. And done. Uh, the confirmation and ticket will be sent to your email shortly. Is there anything else I can do for you, Mrs. Smith? No, no, that will be all. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a pleasant day. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. And have a pleasant trip. <laughs> Thank you. I will. <laughs> Mrs. Smith decides to change the flight reservation. Book a flight? How can I help you? Oh, hello. May I speak with Judy, please? Judy is not here at the moment. She called in sick this morning. I'll be glad to assist you, ma'am. Oh, dear. I hope it's not serious. Very well. Thank you. I'd like to change my flight reservation. Okay. No problem. Uh, what's your booking number? Uh... It's uh, XPL123. Got it. Uh, would, what would you like to change, madam? I'd like to take an earlier flight, if possible. I'm booked on flight number XPL on March 19th. Uh, can I change this to a later date, please? What day would you like to depart? Um... On May 2nd, will, will I have to pay a change fee? Okay, let me fix that. Oh, yes. Oh, well, yes, so because you booked a flight over 24 hours ago, Mrs. Smith. Um, oh, I see. Is there anything else I can do for you? 
Uh, no, 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 thank you. You, you are most kind, dear. Uh, what is your name? Sharon. Oh, uh, thank you, Sharon. Uh, say hi to Jiddy for me. Bye now. Have a pleasant day. Uh, well, uh, thank you, Mrs. Smith. You have a good day. Uh, bye. Cheers. How to check in. Can I see your passport and tickets, please? Here you are. Um, I'm afraid your flight has been delayed. It's now scheduled to depart at 4.30 p.m. Would you like uh, an aisle or window seat? A uh, window seat, please. Hi there, listeners. To transfer means to change a plane. To be delayed means to be later than planned. To be scheduled, to be planned at a particular time. To depart means to leave. An aisle seat means a seat near the passage between rows. A fee means money you pay for service. Now let's learn how to check in your luggage. Hi, are you checking any bags? Hi, yes, I have a suitcase to check and one carry-on. Oh, I'm afraid this bag exceeds the size restrictions. Can you put it on the carry-on please? Um, did you pack your bags yourself? Yes, I did. Are there any sharp or prohibited items in your bags? No, I have a stop war in Miami. Will I have to collect my luggage there? No, your luggage will go straight through to Montevideo. Here is your boarding pass. Hi there, it's me again. Please subscribe, click like and leave a comment and don't forget to share this episode to your playlist so you can listen to it a few times more. Alright, so let's go on. To check a suitcase means to hand your bags over to the airlines for the transportation. To carry on means to bring your bag on the plane with you. To exceed size restrictions means to be too big. A carry-on sizer or carry-on, it's a device which shows your bag size. Sharp means able to cut. Prohibited means banned or not allowed. Stopover means a stop during a flight. How to go through security and board a plane. Ladies and gentlemen, for your own safety, please follow. Excuse me? Do I need to take my mobile out of the bag? Yes, you do. Put it into the bin, please. Do you have any coins or keys in your pockets? No, I don't. I have taken everything out. Then walk through the body scanner, please. Can I take uh, this bottle of water on board? No, I'm afraid not, sir. Is this the gate for flight 234 to Madrid? Yes, it is, sir. Enjoy your flight. Thank you. Hi there listeners, three more words to go and we're done for today, alright? A bin means a container, coins, metal, money. On board means on the plane. Thanks for listening to Look and Listen English Lessons podcast. To continue improving your English, you are welcome to join my channel and watch the videos on different topics and levels. Till next time, bye bye! Do you know some English but still have trouble expressing yourself in social situations? If yes, then this is the right podcast for you to improve your daily English conversation skills. This podcast presents a lot of useful phrases and sentences you would never think of unless you come across them. It contains plenty of common corrections used by native English speakers in everyday life. 
It covers topics such as meeting new people and making small talk, dating and visiting friends, eating out, emergencies, situations and doctor's appointments, car and flat rental, staying in hotels and travelling by air, shopping and much more. As always, I'll be playing the characters. All you have to do now is to sit back and enjoy your listening. Welcome to another Look and Listen English Lessons podcast with Sharon Fay. In this episode, we learn useful phrases and expressions for booking and staying in a hotel with the new characters and daily conversations to improve your English speaking level. Sharon's Towers, good morning. Thank you for calling. How may I assist you today? Oh, uh, good morning. I would like to book a room for two nights, please. Certainly, madam. Uh, may I have your name, please? Uh, my name is Natalie Smith. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. Could you please let me know the date you would like to stay with us? I would like to check in on the 15th of July and check out on the 17th of July. Let me check. Mm-hmm. Um, perfect. We have availability for those days. Uh, how many people will be staying in the room? It will be just me. Mm-hmm. Great. Uh, we have a variety of room types available. Would you prefer a single room or a double room? I would like a double room, please. Noted. Um, our double rooms come with a comfortable queen-size bed. Is there any specific view you would like from your window? Oh, I would love a room with a city view, if possible. (laughs) I'll do my best to accommodate your request. Now, um, let's talk about the amenities. Um, So, our rooms come with free Wi-Fi, a flat screen TV and a mini bar. Is there anything else you would like to have in your room, madam? Oh, uh, that sounds perfect. I don't need any additional amenities. All right, Mrs. Smith. Now, your room has been booked for the 15th to the 17th uh, of July, a double room with a city view. The total cost for your stay will be 150 quid. Will you be paying with a credit card, madam? Oh yes, I will be paying with my visa card. Excellent. Uh, Could you please provide me with the card details including the card number, expiration date and the CVV code please? Sure, the card number is 12345678901234456 it expires in uh, December 23 and the CVV code is 123. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Perfect. Mrs. Smith, your booking is confirmed. You will receive a confirmation email shortly with all the details. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Oh, no, no, no. That's all. Uh, Thank you for your help. You're welcome, Mrs. Smith. We look forward to welcoming you to our Sharon's Towers. Have a great day. Uh, Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Good morning.
morning. How may I assist you today? Oh, good morning. I have a reservation under the name of Natalie Smith. Oh, thank you. It sounds familiar, Mrs. Smith. Oh, let me check your reservation. Ah, here it is. You have a deluxe room booked for two nights, right? May I have your passport, please? Sure, here you go. Thank you. Here's your key card, madam. Your room is on the third floor and breakfast is served from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. If you need any assistance during your stay, feel free to ask. <laughs> Thank you. You're most kind. Uh, could you please tell me where the nearest restaurant is? Certainly, madam. There's a lovely restaurant just around the corner. Turn left when you exit the hotel and it'll be, you know, on your right hand side. Okay? Oh, perfect. Thank you. Oh, oh, one more thing, please. Is there a gym in the hotel? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, we do have a um, fitness center on the ground floor. It's open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Just let me know if you'd like to use it and I'll provide you with the access code, okay? Wonderful, that sounds great. I'll definitely check it out. Uh, thank you for your help. <laughs> You're welcome, Mrs. Smith. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Now let's see how our guest, Mrs. Smith, settles into her room. John, John, it's me. Listen, this room is lovely. Oh, and the bed looks so comfortable. I wish you were here. And the view from the window is amazing. Thank you so much for this present, darling. As Mrs. Smith continues her stay, she enjoys the hotel's amenities. Excuse me, do you mind if I use this trade meal? Oh, uh, no, no, not at all. Go ahead. I'm done with it for today. Thank you. Good evening. May I see the menu, please? Of course, madam. Here you go. Thank you. Our guest, Mrs. Smith, is having a pleasant stay at the hotel. Oh, hi. Goodbye, Mrs. Smith. I hope you had a wonderful stay with us. Oh, thank you. I had a great time. The service was excellent. Oh, we're glad to hear that. Have a safe journey and we hope to see you again soon. Oh, thank you. You, you certainly will. Goodbye. Bye. Hi there, listeners. Here are a few phrases that will be useful for you next time you book yourself a room in a hotel. A suite, a set of rooms. En suite, a hotel room with a bathroom. Shared facilities, when there's one bathroom for a few hotel rooms. Suitable for you means right for your situation. A charge means money you have to pay. A fee means money you pay to get a service. A cancellation means a decision to stop something. 
amenity means something such as a swimming pool or shopping center that is intended to make life more pleasant or comfortable for the people in the town or hotel. Thanks for listening to Look and Listen English Lessons podcast. To continue improving your English, you are welcome to join my channel and watch the videos on different topics and levels. Till next time, bye bye.